This is the Clave 16 Autoclave by Flight Dental Systems. It comes with the main unit, the rack with three trays, power cord, two silicone drainage tubes, a spare door gasket, a tray holder, a special door tool, clave priming kit, a USB stick, spare o-rings for the drain ports, an instruction sheet and an instruction manual. The front of the unit obviously has the door handle, display, three control buttons, on off switch in the front, and a drain port for the used water. The back of the unit has a safety relief valve, circuit breaker, connector for the power cord, and a small air vent. This will only discharge slightly warm mist. Most of the heat will be coming out from the back here, so you need about four inches of clearance for this uh, cooling. It also has a drain port for the distilled water in the back. The side of the unit has a USB port where you would plug in your USB stick. It also has a printer port and a printer power port. If you choose to have the optional printer, it comes with a data cable, power cable, the actual printer itself, and a roll of paper. Prime the distilled water tank using only distilled water. Take your curved syringe and get some water into it. it. Doesn't have to be full. Remove the little filter inside, and with the curved syringe, inject some water into that opening. That's to lubricate it so you can get the piece of tube down into it without too much trouble. Then wet the tube in your bottle of distilled water and feed it down that same opening. This is to prevent an airlock on your initial run. have about this much tube left out when it bottoms out. Take your curved syringe, this time fill it. Connect it to the tube and slowly inject water into the tubing as you raise out your small tube. Now your pump is primed. Put a little bit of water into your reservoir. Don't fill it yet. Take your filter, take out any air bubbles, and insert it back on the opening. And then you can fill it to within a half inch of the top. Then you can close the cover. On the initial install you will have to set the time and date. It uses a 24 hour clock. To get into that screen you'll press the start button and power on at the same time. Then you're into the S1 screen. Select it by pressing the start button again. 
and then advance to the time and date by using the program button. When the digits are blinking, that's when you can change them. Change a digit, use the temperature button. It only goes up, so if you miss the digit, you have to go all the way around. Next one will be the year. and then the month, and the date. To save it, press the Start button, and power off. On the initial install, you'll also have to set the maintenance screen. To get into that screen, you press the Program button, and power the unit on. Continue holding the Program button. Now you're in the S1 screen. Press Start button to select it. And the first row of numbers will be the cycle count. When it counts down to zero, it'll come up with a message saying it needs maintenance. In this particular case, it's already set for 500, which is an average number. You can only change one digit at a time, so just advance through it. Change the numbers that need to be changed. and then you're down to the date. That date should be one year in the future. Use the temperature button to change that number. Press Start to save and power off. To run a cycle, you'll power on the unit, and you've got three buttons in the front. First one is your program button, middle button is your start button, and the button on the right is your temperature select button. On the top of the display, you'll have a dis an icon showing the type of material you're going to be sterilizing. In this particular case, this is unwrapped. Temperature there is 134 degrees C. If you wanted to run it at a different temperature, you press the temperature button and it'll go down to 121 C. If you wanted to change to a wrapped cycle, press the program button and now you've got the icon for a wrapped cycle. Still 121 degrees. If you want to change it to 134, you press that button. This will just cycle between 121 and 134. So you've got wrapped up there fabric, prion, liquid, drying cycle, and then it repeats. So whatever cycle you've used the last time is the one that's going to be up there. In most cases you're not going to be changing it because everyone uses the same cycle over and over again. After you load in the contents, Again, if you're using pouches, you'll be paper side up. Do not overlap the pouches. Put in your test strip, close the door, lock it, and then press the start button to start your cycle. If it finishes successfully, it'll show end at the end of it.